What's up guys and welcome to another episode of the Drift Games vlog. In our last vlog we said we had some pretty big news. We were at a big meeting today and it's here in Yas Marina Circuit, the most expensive Formula One circuit in the world where they hold the Formula One every year. And our initial plan this year was to run a full season of the British Drift Championship uh, where Matt is doing an excellent job of getting that championship back to its best. And I was really looking forward to competing in the Mobile One Mustang. But unfortunately, and fortunately, we got a call from the guys here at Yas Marina saying, hey, on April 5th and 6th, we're holding the first ever round of the World Rallycross Championship in the Middle East, in the Aspirina circuit. And would you guys like to run around, special round of the Emirates Drift Championship alongside? And what we said was, for the sport of drifting, it's never been aligned with a major motorsport event, ever. And for the first time on April 5th and 6th, we are gonna be here in the Aspen Arena with a full driver grid going head to head with World Rally Cross on the greatest stage of them all here at the most expensive Formula One circuit in the world. Today we're meeting with all the teams here, the media guys, the operations guys, putting the plan together for what will be a spectacular event. And they're having a launch party here today for the event with all of the kind of key figures in the motorsport uh, federations from the region. And this is just so exciting. We get to do something that nobody's ever done before. It's on April 5th and 6th. And unfortunately we're gonna miss the British Drift Championship opening round, not be able to compete. But I think for the sport as a whole, sometimes you've got to take those hits when you get opportunities like this. So we're going to go check out some of the cars, check the track out, and yeah, it's going to be incredible. We're so excited. It's a huge opportunity for us and for the whole Drift Games team. We're pumped on this one. Josh, you get to film World Rallycross and drifting in one weekend? Two favorite motorsports in one weekend, so. F1 circuit. We're on it. We've taken drifting to an F1 circuit. We're going to an F1 circuit with, with World Rallycross. Rally That's the plan. Again. There's going to be so many people. Grand fans will pack. You'll have all of the marshals, so at least we can handle our stuff. There's no like having to worry about different sections. We know we're going to run a tight ship on this on this track, and it's going to be amazing. Like, I have some films to do, okay? Let me <laughs> Turn that on. <laughs> Mike hates you know, it. He showed me. What? This yes, and this. Look, I'm going to video this car, watch. <laughs> Mike. Get the swing out, get the swing out. Mike, are you enjoying the free drinks? I'm telling you, the game's changing the media, man. Free stuff. Gaily round. Gaily round? He just says, mock has for life. I've been hearing some rumours. Word on the, the street now, I'm not going to confirm anything just yet, but... Uh, I might have flagged the passenger spin in the World Rally Cross car. They asked me if it was like media and I, I said yeah. And they were like, okay, what are you doing? And I was like, recording the video. And they were like, alright, yeah. So I just signed the sheet. It's in the queue now to get in the car. What's going on? Ollie Bennett's going to bring him for a spin, which is like a little bit fanboy in here at the moment. I don't know how I'm going to say hello, but. Right, well, I'm going to give you the camera and see what happens. <laughs> Fast, like so fast, and I can't 
kind of fueled him a bit. Like, sorry, I said, right, you've an Irish man here now, so you have to impress. And boy, God, he impressed. So we've just finished our meetings here at the Aston Marina. The boys got some passenger spins and some WRX cars, and it's confirmed we'll be running a round of the Emirates Drift Championship, a special invitational cup side by side with World Rallycross here in the most expensive Formula One circuit in the world on April 5th and 6th. Right now we're gonna go grab some lunch, but this vlog is not over. We've got some incredible stuff still to show you. Okay guys, we just left Yas Marina, and right now I'm standing in a garden that the entire path is shaped like the Yas Marina circuit. And that's because we've taken a spin over to the Royal Auto Gallery, which is owned by the Royal Family here in Abu Dhabi. We're lucky to know Kay, who is part of the Royal Family, and we've been given access to come in and film at their car collection, which is pretty much the best car collection in the world. And I brought Keen along because Keen actually knows what all of these cars are. So I'm not a huge supercar fan, but he knows everything about them. So we're gonna walk in, see the guys' reactions, and then we're gonna show you the incredible cars in here. So stay tuned and prepare to have your mind blown. Just arrived at the Royal Auto Gallery. This is basically Keen's dream place to be. So we're gonna like, you know, Keen, we're gonna give you this one. Like, I, we have not, they're shiny. We know they're expensive, we know they're rare. Very impressive. So we need you to explain to how shiny and rare they are. So we're gonna do a little quick tour around. Yep. We're gonna check out some of the interesting cars here, try and give you guys an overview. But uh, it's a pretty crazy place and we're very lucky that we get to film in here today. So yeah, sit back and enjoy. Okay, King, what are we starting with? We're starting with a, with a strong contender here now. Very strong. This is the LaFerrari Aperta. I think one of 20. One so, of 20? So my knowledge is okay. Just don't. We know the internet's gonna yeah. kill you here, but yeah. we're gonna say that Keen is the most knowledgeable. Yeah. So don't hurt him. I think it's one of 20. So this, this thing is, is beautiful. So we'll get to the not one, but two LaFerraris. But this is the Aperta version, so the top comes off. Okay, Friendly. we gotta run through this, there's lots of cars here, King. So we gotta go, boom, what's over here? This one has a roll cage, so I'm presuming. This is the 599XX, what I've just learned is this is chassis number one. So the first car made with this program. So, really? this is a really rare car. So this is an actual race car, built by Ferrari. You can see the windows have purse specs, roll cage, everything else. Just confirming, I think this is the SA Aperta, which is kind of like a 599, but it's like a soft top and stuff, so it's... You know, it's no ordinary 599 Ascension. I know this one. I know this yeah, one. Yeah, you got this. This one's an F40. I know that. It's my favorite. One of my favorite cars in the world. Maybe my favorite car in the world? This one, though, is just immaculate. It, I would hate to think the mileage on some of these cars, but it looks like they've got, like, just delivery mileage. F50? I get this confused with, with uh, F60. There was no F60. There was. Was there? The code name for the Enzo was the F60, but they called it the Enzo. Ah, that's where I get confused. Which for me is my favorite car ever made. This is your favorite this, car ever made? This was like the poster car for me. It's a pretty car. This is amazing. I think a lot of people, you know, they kind of, they don't like the Enzo, but for me, this is honestly my favorite it's car. It's personal taste though, right? Exactly. For me, the F40, but the LaFerrari, I mean, yes. when one is not enough, right? Two. You have two LaFerraris. Why not? And they're both identical. So then this is the Maserati. The MC12. So this, this, is, this is similar to this one, right? The Enzo, correct. Yes. So it's a, a re, kind of like a rebodied Enzo. Yes, and I think back in the day, Ferrari, or not Ferrari, sorry, Top Gear, did the test where I think the MC12 was faster around their test track. Look how far back, like you're here driving, and then you've got all of this, but there's just, there's not much going on but an engine. It's incredibly it'd be, wide. It'd be I difficult think, to park, I think, Ian. You cannot get a sense in the video of how wide this is. It's this so wide. Is. We move on. This is definitely something I've never seen before. So into anywhere else in the world. AMG CLK GTR Roadster. So, so this is the, the, you know, when they had to make Le Mans cars, they had to do a homologation on for, yeah. for so many road cars built as well, right? Exactly. So this is number five. So you can see limited edition number five down here. No, right in the center. Thing, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm not quite sure how many they made. I have a feeling it was between five and maybe 20. So there wasn't that many, but 
This is another Do you know what? I, I have a soft spot for this because yes. it's so ridiculous. I think it's an SLS AMG GT3 car. So it's a race car again? So I would say this is a factory race car. Yeah, I mean, if you look inside, it's no passenger seat, carbon seat. I don't know if you can, you see can even see yeah. the center, the steering wheel. So there's two of these? Yes. So this says 45 years, so maybe it's an anniversary edition or something, so. Yes, 45th anniversary, one of five. One of five in the world. It's really nice. And then we've got the McLaren P1. Yeah, I know this one. This is, this is one I, I knew already. This is a nice spec too. It's kind of like yeah. a brushed gray. It's like a kind of a matte gray yeah. with carbon fiber and the kind of offset orange interior. The back of these cars, Keen, was always the bit that I was the most impressed by. Yeah. These, when they hunker down and the spoiler comes up, they're incredible. Hey, look at that. Now, Keen, this doesn't look like a practical form of transport here. Well, it's, you can tell it's not very easy to get into the car straight away. No. <laughs> it's got, I don't sort of know like what a, it's got. Um, but this is the SLR, Mercedes SLR Sterling Moss. Um, I don't know how many were made. I'm gonna guess not many whatsoever. Yeah. But it's incredible. It, it is a piece of art, this. So this is, it would be more of a showpiece car than an actual car people would drive around, I think this one. I think so. This is kind of the, the collection. Yeah. Like this is a very much a collector's car. Another Mercedes McLaren, uh, you know, working together piece here. So this is the SLR 722, and you've also got the 722S Roadster as well. So how do you remember these names? They all just that, that's like, why don't you say that's one and that's the convertible one. Yes. <laughs> and then this is the SL65 Black Series. AMG it's a Black V12. Series. Uh, yes, it's six and a half litre V12. You know what, I was going to try and outdo you on facts, but it just says V12 on the yes. side of the car. So the newest one, stuff. This is the Bruce Wayne, as I like to call it. This is not the Bruce Wayne. No? Bruce Wayne in The Dark Knight, if I'm right in saying. Did he not drive a Reventon? No, he had an LP640. <sighs> this is a Reventon. So this is even rarer. This is one of 20. I think we'll see another Lamborghini later that kind of, to me, took some cues from the wheel design on this one for another car. Oh, so here. it's like the blade design? Yeah. Oh, I see that there, yeah. This is a very cool looking car. This is crazy. To me, I actually don't really like this car. What? I think... We're gonna fall out here, Keen. Yeah, well, they were gonna give you this one as a present, Keen, but now Damn. we're gonna send it back, get a voucher. So this one, I think, if I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna try and jump in here, because definitely the internet's gonna eat me alive on these. This is the Aston Martin 177. Correct. This one I like. Yes. This you reminds me of like, guess? Bugatti something. Yep, EV 110. <laughs> okay. So, the original. This Bugatti. is like the 80s, oh. just yep. personified, I think, here. There's another one over there, the Jag, as well. But they're like the two classic yes. 80s. Yes. I feel like you're playing Outrun on the, the Sega Mega yes. Drive or on the SNES. Like, that's how 80s this is. So the this Veyron. one is the Veyron Persang edition. What does that mean? It's one of the editions. It means it's very shiny. More Veyrons. Yes. So, for the tests. Or Grand Vitesse, I'm not quite sure, but this one, incredible. It looks quite similar to It's like kind of a, you can see the carbon kind of through the, the paint. Weave, all Look at that. Through. It's crazy. I love carbon, so. Do you know what's as good as having two Veyrons? It's having three Veyrons. This one is the Super Sport Edition. So whereas the normal, I say normal. Normal. Bugattis came with a thousand horsepower at the start. Isn't it 1200, I think? And this is the WRD, or E edition, which is the world record edition for the land speed record. Um, Did this actual car achieve the land speed record? I think it was this one. There were supposed to be five of these cars made, and then Bugatti made eight. So as an apology... Oh, hold on. This. Did I just see what I thought I saw? As an apology? For making more cars, because obviously less cars is more value. They said, to me, they said an engine. It's a full Veyron engine. We've come a long way from the Viper engine on the ground in, in the scrapyard this, this trip. This is the only, from what I was told, the only Bugatti engine outside of the factory. And there's another one, Keen, just in case, you know, sometimes you can miss things here. Yep. There's another Veyron. This one was in James Bond. Pierce Brosnan drawn this. I'm just going to draw out my facts. GT40s always look great. This However... Is, this is the GT, not the oh, GT40. So, just the GT? Yes. Ah, my mistake. The remake of the GT40 and like... 0405. Okay, and then. Go on, give the, it a go. The Jaguar XJ220. Correct. Again, 80s. This and the Bugatti, uh, what's the one you said over there, the blue one? The EB110. They're like the, like really, really 
old school 80s still look great supercars. The Porsche. It's the 918 Spider, but the Vice Act Edition. What are you laughing at, Adam? I can tell the name of the car. Okay? No, you know, it's a Porsche. It's not. But I start, I do the intro bit so I'll sound like I know what's going on, and then Keen kind of comes with the facts. It's not, it's, Sorry, Keen, what were you were saying? So this is the Vice Act Edition of the 918 Spider. That's what I thought. I was just yeah, was the making sure you knew you what it was. Yeah. I was making sure you knew what it was. This one is one of my favorites. Similar to how we saw the... Look at the width of the thing. Like this rear end spoiler combo. It's like got 911 headlights down the bottom just kind of thrown in somewhere. Yeah. It's so wide. So this is another homologation car. So like the AMG CLK GTR over here. This was like the Porsche equivalent of that era. Yeah. So you can actually see the similarities in how wide and how crazy they went. With it's a race cars. car that exactly. they had to make somehow exactly. function for the road just to be able to put it into competition. I almost missed this one. This is just a by the way. Um, what's this thing? This just is, a by the way. Yeah, just I'm just because just we passed it, I said, you this, know what? This is one of, I think, the most impressive cars in this collection. This is the Lamborghini Centenario. Full carbon body. So you can actually see it's like, you know, gloss carbon here dry car roof. This is the one that I said, I just kind of noticed that they're quite similar in the wheels to the style of the Revenant. Yeah, it's like a blade. blade. That's really cool actually, the way they've done that. But, even like but the back end of this one now is just off the chain because I don't think that I've ever seen the back end of a car look quite like that. It's like a spaceship. Yeah. And even, it looks even more like a spaceship with the spoiler down. Yeah. It's just almost like a bubble. It looks very like this one as well. This is very similar. Keen, this one just looks like it's out of place, but I know there's going to be a good story to this. So, <coughs> one of the guys here was telling us that this is the first car ever made. So not this actual car, but the, this was made by Mercedes in like 1886 or something. So 125 years later, Mercedes remade this. And this is one of the remakes. So this is a replica of the first ever car ever first made. ever car. <laughs> Another, well, another Bugatti, not the Veyron this time. This is the new one, right? The Chiron? If you hadn't had your Bugatti fail. Yeah, this is pretty much all of the Bugattis I can take in one day before having to take a small sit down. So I think this is, if I'm not mistaken, the launch deck with the blue and then the kind of navy up here. Um, this, this line on the side of the car is absolutely insane. It just runs the whole way from the but follow, bottom. Follow the middle one down through the back as well. And this is all, not just navy, this is like navy carbon fiber. Yeah, I can see that there. Look, it's like a weave. You can see it through the carbon. And the engine's a little bit more tucked away on this one yep. than the old Veyron. 1,500 horsepower. Sorry, the 991 over here. This goes back to Germany to get its services. And the same with some of the, some of the other cars in here, they actually go back to um, the factory. The factory, so the Ferrari, the 599XX the chassis number one, yeah. that went back previously. Sometimes some of the guys will come here, so if Porsche or Ferrari, their guys are coming out, they'll come and service them here. So this is a brand new GT2 RS. I'm just gonna finish off with these three cars in the middle. This I love. Yeah, so I aggressive, the color scheme. Just the perfect spec, I think, for this, this car. This is actually, I'm pretty sure, the launch spec. So next up is my favorite car in the whole collection, Keen. This is yours? This is my favorite car here. The new GT40 in so. matte gray with the silver stripes. And you know why? Because no car I've ever seen has this sort of a side angle. It's incredible. Look at that, you can see through the whole side of the car. It's a beautiful car. Look at that. Like it's got an exhaust, I think. Don't know, is it like, did mean. they make it for the GT or something? But look at this, look at this rear end, like that. Look at the rear light. If you just get this angle of this car, what is that? Like you look, if you look, at it, it looks like a Formula One car and an X-Wing from Star Wars yeah. sort of if, design. If you showed somebody that in a, in a still frame, they wouldn't know they what would that know is. What the car. No, that's incredible. And we finish up with a SL Mercedes. 300 I, SL, this is the Gold Wing. From the 50s, I presume. I'm not quite sure, I should know, but I don't. Maybe 55, I'm gonna guess 55. I've, I've never even seen pictures of a collection that showed this many cars under one roof. It's incredible. Right. It's, it's not only cars. No, so we're gonna do a little walk up here. So we also have sort of a playroom, or I suppose a games room. We've got all the memorabilia from all of these different sort of cars, and you can say all the different helmets from the racing heritage of the family. Got a full diamond encrusted car, and you've got a full bowling lane as you guys can see down there. It's 
bowling balls, some pool tables with a view of all the cars in the gallery, some foosball, I'm big into that. You rock in here through this door and you've got a full cinema. Check that out. And then we roll back out through here and there's one last PS de resistance on this ultimate collection, gallery, man cave, call it what you will, a full swimming pool. Check that out. I know what you I know what you're thinking. You've seen enough. We want to show you more. We're going somewhere else for even more of this crazy car collection that are actually driven on the road. <laughs>